Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. Guys, I think this is going to be the last video of the year. Uh, I don't think I will release one anymore. It's possible, but I doubt it. So you should probably watch this twice before the end of the year. I'm just saying. Anyway, just want to say, damn, my beard looks good. My head is a little shiny, but the perfect shape. And uh, I hope everyone had a great year with our fishy folks and friends and pets. I know I certainly did. Michael's Fish Room sort of uh, has become a pretty good business for me. Um, YouTube also has been good to me. Not enough that I can retire from my real job, which I probably never will because the benefits are spectacular. Uh, but, you know, it's a, a nice little piece of extra income. And uh, so thank you for that. Thank you for watching, putting up with all my crap and uh, buying fish from me and putting up with all my crap there. So I really appreciate it. Anyway, end of year fish room tour coming up. Grab a snack and a beverage and uh, stand right, by. fishy folks. Let's start with the albino bristle nose breeding setup. I put a mini cucumber in yesterday and it looks like the first round of uh, pleco babies are eating. And there are some second round pleco babies. And you can see we have a male in the cave. So maybe we'll have some more. I think that's... A female right there but I'm not sure no I think that's just snails in there so and oh my gosh all the detritus that must be horribly terrible for your tanks how can you live with yourself you should just die yeah that's what people say sometimes anyway uh, clearly the detritus is not detrimental as I have two spawns of albino bristle nose fry and the guppies have spawned in here as well so I mean, the tank does look like crap, but it's not a show tank, so blah, blah, blah. Here we have a empty tank, uh, waiting for some stock. I have to visit a, a friend, a local breeder, drives a crappy Nissan, but whatever. And uh, we'll put some stock in there. Actually, that's not true. This is gonna become a uh, mutt tank. This is yellow cobra, it's also gonna become a mutt tank because I don't like how they're breeding and there aren't that many left. And this is a mutt tank. So the plan is for at least five of these tanks to be mutt tanks. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this one how it is. I may pull the guppies out and um, just, use, just use this tank for bristle nose or add mutts when I'm done, but I'm not sure. Damn, look at that black Moscow that's in there. Oof. All right, where should we go next? Let's go this way. Here we have the Black Moscow colony that I'm growing out. Looks like I have two pair in there. I'll probably pull one of the males so we have an odd amount. Um, they're just about uh, age where they'll start to spawn. See, there's that little, little male right there. I think I'm gonna pull them out, but we'll see. So the story with this tank is I had a run on these on the website and I oversold them. And I have some new stock coming again from my friend with the crappy Nissan, but um, I think I'm gonna start a new tank and just leave these here and have two, two uh, colonies breeding, but we'll see. Here we have bristlenose plecos. These are uh, adult albino bristlenose plecos that their cucumbers floating. I thought maybe they ate it all, but no. These guys, I'm a little surprised I don't have any fry out of. I do have males and females. You can see there's a male on the wall and a female on the wall. Look how big they are. I may just end up selling this colony off, uh, you know, almost full grown albino bristle nose plecos. I'm not really sure, uh, but we'll see. Here we have calico bristle nose plecos breeding. Well, trying to breed, but I don't have any fry either. And you can see that uh, right over there, it looks like one of the Crabenzas took up a cave. Huh, that's nice. And we have all these other Crabenzas. All the, the adults and the babies are already sold. Just waiting for the weather break to sell them. Here we have some steel nebula guppies. And there's fry in there. And there's also more calico bristle nose plecos in here. Now you might be saying to yourself, why are you breeding plecos and guppies in a 10 gallon tank? And you'd be right to ask that. Uh, if you remember, like in August, I found out that the tank that was here was leaking 
And so I lowered it like halfway and it stopped leaking and I left the plecos in there. And uh, yeah. So uh, when I finally got around to changing the tank, I threw them in, I threw the plecos in this tank, figure, ah, oh, just catch them out. But then I came across these super red bristle nose that I needed a home for, so I put them there. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta move these. I know, it's okay. Moving along in the middle shelf, here we have the Hawaiian snakeskin guppies as well as some regular bristle nose plecos breeding. You can see one on the, a couple on the airlift tube or the filter. Also, we have the China filter. I don't mean to offend anyone, but that's what I call it. If you don't like it, why don't you put on your big girl panties and shut the heck up? And this China filter is run by a China pump. And I, I may do an end of year video on that as well, but then it won't be end of year. Maybe I'll do a video on that next. I don't know. I'm kind of running out of ideas, guys. If you have any ideas for videos for me, leave them in the comments below and let me know. All right, guys, these are some more, uh, some more mutts. These were a combination of the American Koi guppies I got and something else. I put some guppies in here. Um, I had the American Koi's in here. I thought I took all of them out. I took all the, uh, what, what I thought is all the Java moss out, and I put some new guppies in there, and then I realized, oh, crap, there must have been a female because there was like 40 fry dropped. And so these are the grown-ups of said fry. So these will be mutts. <coughs> I mean, pretty stellar. Look at that. Almost a pintail. Almost. Um, but when I get around to moving tanks, that's what that's going to be. All right. More super red bristle nose pleco grow outs. And Japanese blue lower sword tails that I got from Puerto Rico. From a customer of mine. You know the story. Here we have the uh, Jade Head Mosaics. Um, these haven't been on the website yet. I just, I haven't gotten a chance to put them on yet. Maybe I'll do that as well. Nothing special with these guys. Uh, these are mostly females. There is one male in there. I gotta take him out. He's been in there a while. Here we have Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaic Fry and Super Red Bristlenose breeding pair and fry. You can see there's like one, two, three, four, a hundred fry in there. There's a lot of fry in there. Uh, there's the female. The male is probably in a cave guarding more eggs. And there's also a juvenile that was sent to me. They gotta pull out and I'll probably just sell. Anyway, here we have some platies and what appear to be a pair of shellies. I don't know. It is a mystery. Also, chocolate bristlenose plecos, just chilling. Up or down, boys and girls? I don't know, let's turn around. There's the heater and the fan that's off for filming. Okay, here we have the, where are they? Platinum Red Dragon Mosaics. Platinum Red Dragon Mosaics, yeah. And uh, these took second place in the Keystone Clash Guppy class, which I know isn't a real guppy show, but it still was pretty nice to take second place for these guys. Very hardy, very prolific breeders, very good looking fish. Here we have the half black Red Delta uh, girls. Well, I had girls in here. A couple of them dropped fry and we're, we're letting the fry raise up in here. See, we'll probably pull the males out. You can see there are some silver bodies and some gold bodies, which is fine. Depends on what you like, but it looks like there's some fry that's been dropped over the last day or two, maybe maybe weak. And uh, over here, of course, we have the glass belly guppies. These are very prolific and very hardy as well. And also there are some green dragon, I'm sorry, some long fin bristle nose plecos in here. There is one on the wall over there. You can see them. That's the, that's the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, brain fart, hello. Anyway, I don't know what that is. That noise, that was the uh, enlarging noise. All right, let's take a look up here. Here we have a beautiful betta for sale. $30 for this fantastic specimen. And of course, there are some more calico bristlenose plecos in here. And in here we have Bruce. I don't see Bruce, the fan's kind of in the way. Let's see if I can work some camera magic. I don't see Bruce. Bruce, where are you? 
This is a little disturbing, folks. Sorry about the camera work. I don't see Bruce. Stand by. The mystery is solved, folks. Here's Bruce. All right. Here we have the lemon blue eye bristlenose breeding tank. And there was some fry uh, born in here recently, spawned and hatched in here. And look, there's some on the rock, on the, uh, on the wood, <laughs> wood. And of course, uh, we had a spawn back in August as well. I'm not sure why it took so long for them to spawn a second time or what have you, but. All right, moving on, folks. Moving on. Here is a betta. Just did a video a couple days ago on this. Take a look uh, here for that video. And of course, Chewy and his ginormous cock. Chewy is my super red dragon flower horn. Uh, I got from Julie Tran at Aqua Craze, and he is spectacular. He looks great. Uh, he does bite. He does have a ginormous cock, and I love talking about his cock. I do have to start to try to train him so I can pet his cock, because I'd really like to play more with his cock, but that's enough cock jokes. All right. There's some fishy food. There's the Excalibur I feed Chewy to make his cock so big. Here we have Han one of my oscars and this girl leia is in the cave probably she likes chilling in the cave you can kind of just see her her tail right there but um before i got chewy i wanted some sort of bigger fish and uh i've always liked oscars and they're pretty common and easy to talk about and easy to care for so i said what the heck i'll get one and then i got two and uh there's Leia. I believe it's a girl because she's smaller. I don't really know. I've had this conversation with you guys before. This is one of the few tanks I do run a hang on back filter pretty much full time to help take care of detritus and dirt and stuff in the water because these guys can be messy. I have considered adding some plecos to this tank to help clean up. Same thing with Chewy. I don't know if Chewy will let a pleco in his tank. He's pretty badass. But uh, if you know, let me know. All right, bottom row tank since I'm sitting. Here we have an empty tank. Here we have the Black Panda tank. These guys are now for sale on the website. If you're interested, please purchase them. They are very hardy. They're actually my best selling guppies. The original line came from Corey at Aquarium Co-op. I have added some different genetics to the pool over the years. Just as I said that tank was empty, I see that ginormous female in there. What the heck? I haven't fed that tank in three weeks. Oh, and there's Fry. I guess I'll be feeding that tank today. Surprise. Here we have some, I forgot what we're gonna call these. They're mutts basically, but they're mutts that breed relatively true. So that was the experiment. Put them in here and see how they breed. And uh, the few males that came out did breed pretty true. So I think they're, we're gonna call them uh, magenta cobras or half black magenta mosaics. Some of uh, they have some magenta. The males have some magenta on the tail, which would be nice if a male came out. But here we have a male tank with red cobra males, black Moscow males, and jade head mosaic males. And uh, it is a 10 gallon. I'm not overly concerned with aggression. There's quite a few fish in here. Um, and there's some hiding spots. And I feed them quite heavily to help with the aggression. So I haven't had any problems, knock on wood, but you know, you could have problems if you have all males in a tank, in a small tank like this. A lot of all males, so. Here we have an empty tank. And here we have some cobra guppies. And here we have some cobra guppies. Um, I just have two tanks of cobras. They're big sellers. They do spawn uh, reds and greens, mostly reds though. Um, I do try to separate the males and the females. I do see a male that's grown up in here. 
So I gotta try to grab him out of there. Uh, the water isn't dirty. There's just some some uh, green algae on the glass, which is fine. They, the guppies can eat off it when they want. And uh, I mean, there's, there's a ton of hiding spots in here. There's a ton of java moss, so. Lots of places for the babies to hide. I'm sure there's babies in there. If I disturb it, they'll all come out. But I want them to hide so they survive. See, there's a little baby for Fry Fry Friday. All right. Here are the magenta guppies I was telling you about, the original colony. Um, I do add them to mutt orders when I get them. I do add some of these to the mutt genetic pool just to keep the genetics fresh. And here we are, the winner of the Keystone Clash, the Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics. Yeah, these guys won the class. They are spectacular. Um, I am getting some metallic bodies as well as some black. You can see like that, see the difference. Um, I, I think it's kind of cool, so I'm gonna leave them in there. Uh, you can see there's Fry hanging out all in the Java Moss. And this is a typical breeding tank for me. Sponge filter, lots of java moss, some plethos hanging out, and uh, lots of fish. And that's that. All right, moving over to the top, folks. Almost done. How's your beverage and snack? Do you need to refresh? Here we have the Sunset Cobra Mosaics. And uh, I got these guys recently, and they have spawn. Let's see if we can see any fry in here. I don't see it. Oh, there's some fry. Yep. All right, here we have the, these were American Purple Deltas, but uh, they seem not to be breeding very true, so I just kind of let them go. And uh, we made some purple, yellow nebulas. Purple nebula, purple steel nebulas, I think I call them on the website. And uh, there are some in here, as well as some regular nebula guppies looking fantastic here we have some mutts these are from the outdoor tank outdoor ponds um, this tank had some um, parasites and i treated with this anti-parasite duo flake from everything aquatic check out dean at everything aquatic she has some great medicated food she doesn't even know i talk about her videos if she does she doesn't say anything but I never, I don't like reach out to someone and say, hey, I'm, I'm talking about your company, give me food. I just talk about it if it's good, so. Here we have a tank of purple deltas that seems to never really get going. There's a bunch of juveniles in here and that's that. Here we have the Tanaka maple leaf guppy that I'm trying to resurrect. If you remember, I killed all these guys with my fancy heater and the heater that's in that tank. The mystery was, why is this tank 83 or more and every other tank around it not? And uh, it turned out it's because there was a heater in there that I didn't see because I'm a dumbass. Half black guppies. These half black guppies uh, are very prolific. You can see there's lots of fry in there. Uh, I did get these from a local breeder and of course from my friend Ryan in Kansas. And... Uh, so there's two different genetic lines in there. This is a great starter guppy, very cheap on the website, very hardy and prolific. Here we have what's left of the Japanese blue colony. You can see there's a couple of red males in there. And uh, I just, I let the line go. I, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't fast enough or good enough to keep it uh, pure. So the red took over as red is the dominant color. Now I've had other Japanese guppies um, and they were red like Japanese blue guppies and they were red like that. So th I guess there's, that's just how they are, you know? All right, empty tank. Mutt guppies from outside. Look at that. Look at that Cobra guppy mutt. That is spectacular. Oh my God, they're beautiful. Beautiful. You know what? These might be the Cobra guppy mutts. Remember that? pond I had that had cobra guppies in it. I bet that's what these are. Because these are all cobras. Anywho, Jarry Lazulis. Uh, I have a lot of these sold, but as you can see, guys, they're still not of sexable size. So we'll see. Half black red deltas, boys. Medusa guppies, new strain in the fish room, not on the website yet. Starting to get the colony going. You can see there's some fry. These I got from a local guy, 
red, I forgot what he called them. They're almost like red cobras, but not really. I forgot what he called them. Red flame guppies, that's what he called them. Waiting for these to spawn. Put them on the website soon. Dark purple mosaics. And as I've said many times before, I think these are dark purple Moscow's, not mosaics. I think I labeled them wrong. And of course, we have the albino bristlenose grow out tank. You can see there's a cucumber that they are all eating. All right, fishy folks, that's the year end fish room tour. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoy uh, watching my channel. And if you don't, if you've lasted 20 minutes in this video and you don't enjoy watching my channel and you're a troll, that's fine too. I, it doesn't really, I don't really care your purpose. I like sparring with the trolls. They're usually not that smart, so it's pretty easy. Occasionally you get a smart one, and when you hit them back with logic, they still don't answer, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm just watching Chewy and his ginormous cock. Let's see if he wants to play with the light. Yeah, oh, 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 get it, get it, Chewy, get it, get it. You can do it, come on. Get it, get it, Chewy, get it, Chewy. All right, fishy folks. That's enough playing with Chewy's cock. Hope everyone has a great new year and safe. I just dropped something. I'm gonna leave that blooper in, screw it. Hope everyone has a great, great new year. Be safe and uh, we'll see you next year.